the last thing, and I'm, I'm glad there's so many geotechs here, I want to talk about uh, Don Gray and landform grading, and also he's got, a, he's got a webinar on our toolbox website. Those of you who didn't have our first class, uh, landform grading by Horseshore and Donald Gray did the geotech benefits to landform grading, which is one of the techniques that we have in our SSP now, and it's also in the highway design manual. And, and this would be especially particularly effective up in the decomposed granites one day. So we wanted to point out, Donald Gray's book points out that nature never builds linear and planar slopes. Nature does not build it. When nature builds a, a slope like that, what happens is, is it starts rilling and gullying, and then it sets out an alluvium, and we end up with a hill like this over time. I think you all know that. So what happens is we got a one-to-one -one slope, and the way to show our, our stability of it is I've got these little horizontal reference lines, and we've got our phi angles here described on our one-to-one -one slope. Now, the forces that cause this slope to fail start building on the surface. They start building with more and more weight, more and more surcharge on the surface. It gets heavier and heavier and heavier, and the phi angle has not changed any. So a lot of times we get our slope failures down near the bottom of those slopes. If we, however, take an overall one-to-one -one slope, we do a concave and a convex slope, what happens to these angles, this angle becomes much narrower down here. It becomes steeper right here and very narrow here at the top. So our phi angle, our stability angle, changes. In fact, where there's the most chance of mass, of, of mass failure, there's less angle, so that's why that's the stable angle. Let's also be junior raindrop for a moment little uh, raindrop erosion here coming down this thing. Remember Junior? He's running down this slope. So he's starting on this one-to-one -one slope, and his erosion, he starts out relatively slow. He gets going faster and faster, and pretty soon he's going really fast. That's why you don't see rills forming until you get down about a third of the slope. Junior gets up enough speed, tractor forces, and then he starts down here, and you almost have gullies. If you have a concave or a convex slope, Junior starts out slow, gets going really fast down in here, and then has a, he peters out down in here. These are by far a more stable configuration. If you don't do this, well, what happens a lot of times is you just leave yourself a shelf out here that can vegetate. That would be good. This is our home inboard ditch. Here's our highway. You have water quality. But this is going to be really important for Buckhorn Summit, this rounding the top of the slope, because this vertical slope comes up, and like I said, seepage goes through, erodes this material. This causes a big slumping slide down here, and then pretty soon that erodes. This material comes down, fails our entire slope. You'd be much better off rounding the slope from the first place.